everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over how to use a HyperDeck Studio with an A10 Mini. This, um, this video idea actually came to me from someone asking a question on the Facebook group. So I knew there was a way to do it. I didn't quite remember how to describe it. So I ran to the warehouse, grabbed a HyperDeck Studio, came back and figured it out. Before we jump into this, let me give you a brief diagram of what we have set up. Uh, the inputs on the A10 Mini are the camera, the GoPro, the HyperDeck itself, the computer. I have a thumb drive plugged into the back of the Mini to record. I have a Stream Deck set up right now, which we're, not, we're gonna get into later. I don't need that uh, yet. And I have the HyperDeck the only thing that's plugged up to it is a network cable and an HDMI cable. And the important part is you need to network this into the same network as your mini. Now it doesn't have to be a full router. I have it plugged up just to a switch with static IPs. So that's what I want to go into first. Once you plug all this up, you need to go into your ATEM control software. You need to go to the tab that says HyperDeck and I've typed in the IP address for the HyperDeck. I told the ATEM software what input it is, clicked auto roll. This is gonna be the main thing to fix all your problems. So you need it networked, you need the IP address in the control software, you need to tell what input it is, and you need to select auto roll. So you wanna save all of those things. So next I have a um, SD card. It has two files on it. If we go back to here, media player, HyperDex, it shows the HyperDeck. It shows the short um, key for what it's called and it shows my two files. So I wanna select which one I wanna use. And then all I have to do is hit cut as you can tell it's playing and it will play all the way through the video and then stop one of the things i had to do is i needed to update the hyperdeck i don't know if i needed to but i did and then i found the auto click button so you can download the software from black magic design plug up your usb you can connect to it here you can tell it what resolution you want and you can decide if you want to trigger it. Now, I cheated. The two files that are on here are actually recordings. I plugged up another computer to this. I had it play a video and I hit record on the HyperDeck and recorded that video. The reason I did that is because this wants to read QuickTime files, specifically something that's about ProRes or H.264. So basically, these are the file types that it will actually read back. So let's not cheat. Um, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a five minute break. I'm gonna try to make a video and then put it on this SD card and see if we can run it that way. So give me a minute. All right, so. I have a 20 second video that's 880 megabytes. It's not quite a gig. It sees it! Huzzah! That was fun. In a not that fun way, I'm going to hit cut. It auto plays. I'm gonna go on and turn, turn on this. So we're using Premiere uh, for your exporting you want to use the um, QuickTime drop down and then Apple ProRes 4444. That's, that's how I got this to work. Let's say you have a lot of video files that you want to play. Well, there's the buttons on the front of this. So you could conceivably put them in order. Um, let's take a look. Let's say you have a lot of clips and you want to go through them in a certain sequence. This will only play the one you have highlighted. Now, the original commenter on the Facebook group did not want to use OBS as their video playing software, which 
Um, sometimes you don't want to. I don't know if he didn't want to have a computer up at all. But there is another way to do this and you can select it without having to be on the software. And that's this guy. And that's where our good friend companion comes in. So let's set that up real quick. Boop, boop, on Blackmagic Hyperdeck. Target IP. So let's look on the front of this thing. Menu, settings, network. 192.168.1.1. Fifty. Apply changes. Let's go to buttons. Let's get rid of all this. Okay, so let's go to presets. So let's let's say we just want to use the stream deck and the companion. So put stuff into preview. We'll do our camera. We'll do our GoPro. We'll do our hyperdeck. We'll do our laptop. And then that's, all, that's it for presets. So regular button, I'm just gonna call it video one. So on my hyperdeck, go to clip, clip number one. Okay, as always copy paste, copy paste. So two, Clip number two, three, clip number three. Okay. So I'm going to minimize this and I am going to pull back up my ATM software because I just want to see what happens when I do that. There we go. So that's it. So if you're running a show, with the ATM Mini. And again, this setup, the way you work this in the software will work for any level of the Blackmagic ATM switchers. Doesn't have to be a Mini, doesn't have to be a Mini Pro, Television Studio, Television Studio HD, Television Studio Pro 4K, whichever version you're using, even the ME, the ME2, the ME5000, whatever they are. So let's do Hyperdeck in preview, video two, cut, we're playing. We're playing a video. So now I wanna come back to, so there we go. And then the next video we need to play is the last one. There we go. And we're going to auto transition that because we wanted to auto tra transition something. If you're using multiple video files, I recommend a stream deck so Again, you can have this somewhere else, or if you don't want to have to hunt and peck with, where the, where's my mouse? Do I have the right one selected? You just have a button for it. And if you've got 12 videos, there's 12 buttons on the front of this thing. There you go. This will just be your video playback. You can obviously have more than one hyperdeck in your rack, in your fly pack, whatever you want. But if you wanted to use one as video playback instead of record, this is a way you can do that. So I hope this has been informative. I hope this has helped you out a little bit. Um, if you just want to know if you could do this before you spent the $700 on a Hyperdeck, hopefully this answers your question. Eventually going to start doing some of the gaming stuff, but being in lockdown, it's hard to get friends over to play board games. So. I was going to do a woodworking project this week, but this came up and I had already started the woodworking project and it went sideways very quickly. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions and you would like me to uh, make a video, um, drop it a comment. So as always, press buttons till stuff happens and I'll see you next time. Stop.